Hey guys, it's Chris with Kerbal Space Program. Today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on action groups. Now this is just a rocket I threw together because I had a couple parts from each little thing I wanted to show you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up action groups on these outboard motors, the solar panels, the lights, and also the docking port. And the action groups make it very easy to just you know hit one button and it'll take whatever actions that you have assigned to it and and make them happen so the action group button is here and it's gonna bring up this um, window here now with these are the, the the standard setups and you can mess with them I think I, I've never done it but they're they're pretty much a cut and dry there's no no sense on changing those but what it, it what where action groups do come in to play is when you make custom ones. So, because I built this these outboard motors in three times symmetry, I can just select this motor. It's going to select all three. And what you can do with these motors is with one key, the number one key on your keyboard, you can toggle the engine, you can shut down the engine, you can activate the engine, you can jettison them, or you can toggle the gimbal. Now the gimbal is uh, these nozzles move in a uh, arc. Usually it's like one degree or something um, and that way it can help steer the craft. It, sometimes it's good if it's on the center rocket it's pretty good. If it's on an outboard rocket sometimes you want to turn that off because it's just gonna make the craft wobble and it gets crazy. So anyway we're gonna just uh, set this up to toggle the engines so we can turn them on and we can turn them off. So that's one that's going to be the one key. Now on the two key, we're going to set up a bunch of things at once. So we're going to take these solar panels, and again, I built this in four times symmetry. So just selecting one, I select them all, and this gets helpful. Um, but it's also good to know that if you build it in one time symmetry, it's not going to select them all. You have to select each individually. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to set this to toggle the panels. We're also going to select the lights, and they have their own uh, switch, but we're just going to put it all in the same. So we're going to do toggle light, and also we're going to do this docking port, and we're going to set that to toggle. So whenever I press the 2 key, three things happen. The solar panels extend, the lights go on, and the docking port shield opens up. So that's it. So now we're going to go to launch, and I'm going to show you on the launch pad what happens. Okay, so we're at the launch pad. And the physics just loaded. Okay. So I'm going to show you the two key first because we're on the ground. Uh, I hit the two key. The docking port opens. The solar panels extend out. And the lights come on. Now if I hit the two key once more, the lights go out, the docking port closes, and the solar panels go in. This is very helpful because you can assign as many actions as you want to one key. Now if I had uh, whatever you whatever you could figure out for a combina combination you can have all those actions happen with just the press of one key. Instead of going around individually and extending them and closing them and, and all that stuff. And with engines when you're uh, in atmosphere it does not work that way. It, it, it'll cause you problems if you try to do it individually. And I'll show you what happens when you do. All right, so we're going to let those close, and then we're going to go ahead and, and launch. Now you notice the outboard motors are on. I hit the one key, they turn off, so all three of those motors are off. And then I turn it back on again by hitting the one key, and they start up. Now, if you wanted to do this manually, the, it's going to cause a problem, and I'll show you. That is what happens when you try to do things individually when it comes to being under power, especially in atmosphere. If you're in space, it's going to kind of do the same thing, but it won't be as drastic as this. Um, but you'll still go off, you'll start spinning in space. So obviously, not a good idea. So that's a quick tutorial on action groups. Uh, if you have any questions, just throw them in the comments. And if you like the video, uh, please give it the thumbs up. 
Also, check out my other videos on Carbal Space Program and some other games. And if you like them, just uh, please subscribe, and uh, I'll keep making them. And if there's anything you want to see, just let me know, and I will do my best to get it done. So, thank you.